Hello everyone, this is Okuna, and in case you're wondering, this is a new series, or let's say, a new first episode of a possible series of me checking out a new game. And uh, what you can see here is the game Firewatch. This is a game I have been waiting for since I first heard the first announcement of this game. It was really, really cool. And now the time has come. Yes, 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 yes. The time has come. Firewatch is finally out. More than one and a half years later. It is something I very much like. It is interactive storytelling, like an adventure game. Yes, and I think you could call it an adventure game. But this is the first time I'm starting it. I have seen some videos of, of it, some gameplay videos uh, made during, <laughs> during development of the game. But no, it's the first time I'm starting it myself. So you can really watch me playing it for the first time. N no, not you not only you can watch me playing it for the first time. I myself can watch me playing it for the first time. And I want to play this game because I really like it and I want to play it. So and you can be a part of it. So watch. Loading. Little snitch automatically denied <laughs> outgoing internet connections from Firewatch. Details can be reviewed in your little snitch configuration. Can you hear that? That's my personal firewall. I don't like software phoning home. So later on, I can allow it to do that or not. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see, Julia. Yet, what uh, do I see? You see, Julia, but nothing else here. Ah, okay. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Hmm. Well, that would be more like me. So, I'll take this choice. You slur the word major and it smells like a course. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn? You ask. She says stiff definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. Oh. One week later, you are Julian's boyfriend. Well, congratulations. Okay, okay. Obviously, this looks like an elevator, and obviously. Ah, okay, left click to use objects. Backpack, yeah, let's pick it up. Okay. And then I assume. Okay. This is not part of the game. This 
as my clock I forgot to turn off. Okay, can I... No, it doesn't seem I can. Let's go out. And before I continue, I hope I can get into settings. Yes. Ah, no, no, no. There it is. Invert Y axis. I'm an old school player, not gamer. I'm a player. And for me, yes, this is the right axis. Okay, this is the the elevator I came from looks like some kind of garage. One car in there. Hmm. Okay, get in. Hold a minute. Did the game say I am drunk? Now, I myself would not. Ah, low gear. That's better. Let's load the gear. Okay. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Hmm. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Hmm. Like the beagle we all n love? Snoopy? Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. German, ha <laughs> ha. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Snoopy or, well, German. Snoopy, churn, Snoopy, churn. Let's let, let's take Snoopy. I like Snoopy. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Let's take that. That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Where are we now? Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with the bear. Learn to live with the bears. Warning. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive uh, backcountry trail. The trail may be vague along several scratches and disappears entirely at uh, some washes. I'll marry. Okay, sorry, sorry. sorry. That, that's a little bit small. Here is a map. 
two forks region overview hmm this looks quite detailed something inside me says memorize it the other one says let's continue okay this is the car GUA 628 Colorado oh, what's that a hat ah let's pick up a hat Exhibit. Okay, a hat. And a yellow one. I like a yellow hat. So, let's put it on hold. Yeah, exactly that. That's better. Let's wear the hat. Looks nice out here. What's here? Fire danger. Low, mid, high, extreme. Prevent forest fires. We cannot cross here. So, obviously someone, some higher might, wants us to go another way. And here, this way is open. Hmm, what's that here? Hmm. Nothing of interest right now. Somehow I don't like that motion blur. Can we somehow slow it or turn it down? Mute? No, no, no. Display? No, no. Gameplay? Auto. Ah, graphics. Graphics looks better. Shadow quality high. Wall quality SSAO. Um, sorry. What, what does that mean? Motion blur. Yeah. Off. I don't like motion blur. No motion blur for me. Controls. Let's uh, state for that. For now. Yeah. Go back. Go out and continue. Ah, that's better. That's how I like it. Okay. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. Not good for her. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Well, I don't like getting mad. No, not if it's... That's my friend. I ignore her for now. You don't touch e each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981 Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Well, you lucky one. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <sniffs> hmm, let's take this one. Very nice. That looks nice. That looks spiky. Spiky. Afternoon sun. Sunset. Oh, yeah, this. What's here? Two forks. Fire lookout, eight miles. Eight more miles. Then let's walk on. Spacebar to climb over and obstructions. Hep. 
Okay. What a nice look out. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There is a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. No, that's not good. Bucket gets kicked. Bibiba fuck the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Well, I scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh my. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. That's a tough one. Well, let's take this one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says uh, that will be hard. But she'll do it for you. If you won't move. She'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up uh, if it is what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985 Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a college for borrowing books that were important to her research. She lost it on a colleague, not college. Sorry. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Oh my. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Another tough one. Yeah, I want to talk about someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Dementia. Goldman. Okay, so where, where am I? Okay, I cannot move. Journal. I can pick up this journal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments uh, that it's kind of nice because she. because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Nineteen eighty-seven. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason, and has to be brought home by the police. 
she is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you on a dope, and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into the bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. 1988 You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia should live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Yes, I will determine this. Okay. Where are we now? Moving on. Right or wrong direction? Hmm. Can we go in the wrong direction? Ah, okay. <laughs> no, we cannot. So let's walk to, through this nice nature landscape. Towards the lookout, I'd say. On and okay. Hello, dear. This wants to slow. <laughs> it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she c can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college baseball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. and a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989 one night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow up point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it. But you tell your sister in law, Susan. 
Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Enter the lookout tower. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Late at night. Crickets chirping. And obviously my machine is not strong enough for this kind of resolution. That's better. But not really good enough. Okay, what, 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 what was here? Ah, okay, space patrol over. No, for now, I will go into the lookout tower. Seems that this is the job I have taken. Can I open this door? Yeah, I can. But let's look around first. I want to make a picture of this. Okay. Thoroughfare lookout. Another lookout tower. And there are lights in there. Everything looks boarded up. Okay, what's this here? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, I can see my own body. Some gas flasks. And the stairs up. Okay, let's go in. And make ourselves cozy. Okay. And open the door. Okay. I think. Now we have seen the introduction to Firewatch. And we will continue soon. But not now. So, if you want to stay in contact with me, please comment below. If you like this video, and if you want me to continue this, I hope so, amazing game, please comment below. You can also message me on Twitter if you want to stay in contact with me. Twitter.com slash Okona 1up. And we will see each other really soon. So, see ya.